Hi, this is Tilak. Welcome back to the Pass Formula Beginner Tutorial. We are going to look at input values and the return uh, values today. These two are the final component. We seen all other component in our previous uh, sessions. Uh, if you are new to the tutorial, please go and see that my the previous sessions because without that you may not understand. In my tutorial, I again and again I talk about uh, formula types and DBAs, uh, context, input variables, return values, and routes. The reason is these are the foundation of the fast formula. If you understand these components, you can write any fast formula. Everything else is just a fill in blanks, fill in the blanks, because you have to put a logic. You know what is coming in, you know what is going out. <clears throat> and what are the uh, data available for a particular formula type? Everything else is you are filling your, your uh, like, you know, specific logics, conditions, loops, that's all. That's the reason I'm repeating it. Okay. <clears throat> Today we look at the input values. Again, I'm telling the difference between the input values and that uh, context. <clears throat> These two informations are passed to that uh, uh, fast formula, whichever you are writing it. Will you are will the formula is executed? The context is basically used for getting that uh, DBAs. The context is used as a, uh, the validation or a bare class validation for, so that the DBAs are dependent on your context. On the other hand, input values are a kind of a free information passed to you. And so you can use the pass formula. You can write a pass formula in a better manner like additional informations. And the contexts are predefined for a formula type. Okay, and the names are also predefined. Like, you know, they are basically seeded values, like, you know, that they can't pass any information. They are the, that if it is a assignment ID, it is HR assignment ID, I believe. If it is a person ID, it is a person ID. So effective date is a capital effective date, or it can be an date. That is how it is passed. But in other end, input values are that whoever basically like you know, calling you, writing the code to call you a fast formula, they determine that. There is no, nothing called uh, like, there's no information available in the table. So it is, they're free to define. For example, compensation always use CMP underscore IV and remaining words, that is called. If it is uh, absences, they probably use a different word. Payroll, they may use different logic, I mean, different uh, standards. And the context basically like, you know, even if it's the same type used in a different places, they are free to use any context. Okay. It's not necessarily they have to use all the context. They can free to use any context information they can pass in, but that should be within that the predefined. Okay. In the other end, <coughs> input values not necessarily has to be the same. They can pass like you know, even the same formula type which is used in a different places. They can use a different uh, uh, like you know inform different names or uh, different uh, data they can pass in. Okay, the way they initialize differently, I mean, the default, defaulting is the same way, but the way they initialize differently. So we will see that everything later. Now we'll see what is that, since we already saw that uh, context and uh, DBs, everything, we are not going to go back to that. Now let's see what is input values. Input values are predefined, which is basically passed in while that formula is executed. Input values are read only values. You cannot change the value. Every, like, you know, every, module or the application as per their own standard. Compensation always use the CMB underscore IV. IV means input value than the remaining name. Input values are mostly passed as a character or number. This is my understanding, but you please check that uh, documents. 
Okay, if the dates are passed, they are basically passed in a certain formats. Most of the time, it is passed as y y y y y. So uh, like four y slash m um, slash dd. That is how they passed in. But again, you check the document, the particular uh, product document, how it passed in. This is an example. Like you know, I'm i mostly I'm taking compensation because that is where I'm very comfortable with. That's the reason I'm taking compensations. The common stage currency selection is the type of us formula. These are the things passed. Mostly the past date, uh, passed as a text. The dates are passed as a like way, 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 MMTD format. Okay, that's what it is. Now let me see that other example is like, you know, common sense person selection. This is a very common fast formula type, which is used by a CWP, Workbench, uh, TCS, total common sense statement, and uh, GSP. Great step progressions. I'll see that how they differ in all the three columns. If you look at the compensation from CWP, pass the plan information and the dates. Okay. But when you are looking at the TCS, it pass that statement information, statement, statement period, start date, end date, all this stuff. This is pass it. Okay. This is how that, that differs. Like you know, if you look at the GSP, it is passing assignment ID, person ID, ladder ID, ladder B and the more, okay, this is how you pass it. So basically the same first formula, if you look at that, they pass the different values because that product thinks that is what the extra information you need it beyond that context. That is that is the, the design of that, okay. Now when you are coming to that uh, variable, this is how that inputs are. Then if it is if it's a number, you don't have to give anything. If it's a date, text or date, okay, most of the time it's a text, text, you say that what it is coming as a text. Then you can default them because the reason why we default them, we don't know that all the information passed in, though most of the time it is not passed, but you still, you are not sure. So that you make sure the information is not passed. This is the default. Now, how do you use it? Is it used like a variable? Okay. Now, what we see the written variable. Return variable is what you are passing back to that uh, the application. Okay, these are kind of a predefined. In some cases, I think like system extract you don't pass it. You call a method that will write into the database. I believe uh, tables. Other than that, um, like you know, every fast formula you return something. So basically, that the return value variable variable or values expected in certain manner or certain values expected. Like if it is a kind of eligibility or you are telling the person is valid or not, you are going to say that yes or no. That is most of the time is way or no, some cases. Okay. In some cases, they also expect that the variable is prefixed. Like in this case, hierarchy determination. It has to be either person ID or assignment ID or a person number. These are the things. So by variable, they know what information is coming in. <coughs> In some cases, especially when you are returning a date, the date is expected in a YYMMD format. This is more of a, the last two is more of a technical. Okay, it's better to understand, but you don't need to know that. The return variables are passed to the system as an array. Okay, this is basically name and value pair. This is more a technical information, just for your understanding is. For example, this formula pass the L, Data type L sorry L data type L default value as a value, but what internally it will pass to the information is array. The name is this one and the value is this one, and the name and value pair is passed to that calling program. Then they handle that. They know how to handle that. So this is just for understanding purpose. Okay, that's all for the day, and we probably have a one more session on introduction of the pass formula, or we can say foundation of the pass formula then we will get into writing first formula. Thank you. If you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. I also have a URL for my blog. Uh, I already covered all this in a blog. You can look at the blog if you want. Thank you. Bye.